Nigeria is in the process of flying thousands of its citizens home from Libya. Large numbers of Nigerians are trapped in Libya, where they were trying to cross to Italy by sea, but were stopped by local armed factions and Libya's Coast Guard, and now facing dire conditions and abuse. The Nigerian government says the flights will continue for as long as they need to. It's estimated about 5,500 migrants will be flown home. Ahmed Idris has been hearing the migrant stories, and he filed this report from Libya's capital of Tripoli. Everyone you see here has a sad story to tell. They've been through so much. Stories of torture, rape, abuse, imprisonment, and all kinds of abuses here in Libya, in the hands of the authorities, in the hands of people smugglers. They are talking about being imprisoned. For them, the journey to Nigeria today, the journey back home, is a mixed bag. A lot of them are happy that they are free at last, they're going back home, but disappointed in the fact that a lot of them have lost so much in this country and they're going back to nothing. Now, basically, we have seen all the people and people as young, children as young as 10 or 11 years, people who wanted to move to another country to make a living. But now, we've spoken to some of them who gave us their own side of the story, the trauma they've went through over the past few months and, of course, over the years. If I'm dying, I like dying in my country because the kind of suffering that I've suffered for these few months that I've left my, my great country, Nigeria, as in, if I see anybody that I say that I am backing on this journey, I will, give, I will give that person the last blood of my advice for that person not to make this, the kind of mistake that I've made. I want to go to Italy before, I didn't want to stay in Libya, but now when the Caribou shows, I want to go back to my country. In the end, they are going home empty-handed.